On this video, we're excited to be doing some advanced concepts and we're going to do a shadow position and then we're going to learn how to do an egg beater type movement and then over the head for a veil or a skin the cat type action. All right, let's invite Kerry in and we'll show that. So in previous videos, we've talked about the yo-yo action, getting the girl into position and how if I brought the arm up, I could get her into shadow position. And then if I wanted to hit something in the music or I wanted to make this look a little better, I wanted it to run on and become more advanced, I would add movement to it and add a turn and then straight out of the top for an egg beater or skin the cat back into my basic movement and dance away. So what we're going to need to do is break this down into about four sections. So we already know from previous videos that to bring the girl in, all I do is lift that hand up, it creates rotation and I wrap her in. I know that she's going to have to step back on that right foot to rock back in the basic position if I was to bring her back out. And the key element is, as I rock her back, I need to be bringing that left hand up and over as I'm lifting the right hand so I'm going together so that I can get the hands in the correct position. So we would go away, together, I'm looking at the girl rotating my body and looking down the line where I want her to go. The right hand is moving away from the shoulder, the left hand is already continuing over the top. What's really great about that as far as the follower's perspective, we'll count it into it, one, two, three, four. Now usually on the five, if you're going to redirect her back into the slot, then she'd be stepping and you see how her body is still basically facing where you're going to redirect her, the slot coming out. But when the left arm continues to move, notice how my nose, toes, and my belly button are now being focused down the slot instead of back where it came from. So that's very important from the follower's perspective. So we'll just break this down how to get into side by side from the top to continue on that action. One, two, three, four. I go to advanced footwork. I continue the rotation. Left hand's going over as the right hand's opening out. Five. And then I would continue through. That would get me into the basic position. Into a simple skater's position. Yeah, skater's position. We're going to take it up a notch, though. We're going to take it up a notch. So now we know that that hand is starting to rotate because my body is rotating outward. But this hand must keep coming over to get that girl to rotate on the correct foot so she knows something different is happening, that she's continuing the direction. We're going to do a multiple turn, which means it's going to have to be an illusion or a wrist slip, which means our right to right is going to be our core hand with the turns or the halos above her head. And our left hand is going to be what makes the illusion or the Super. slip of the wrist. So we'll demonstrate that and then we'll go over how to do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then I would just hold there, step out, and go. I do the old male advanced footwork when I get the shadow and when I get to the end of the pattern. <laughs> so if we were to do this and show that the right hand maintains as the core hand that halos above, Shane could even demonstrate this without the left hand whatsoever. He oh, you want to do the whole move? From the move? beginning, yeah. One, two, three, four. That's our core hand, whether we decide to do the illusion or not with the left side. So that right hand is going to be what halos above yeah. the head. And I would suggest, this is a really good tip, and I love that followers come in and say, hey, sometimes you lead this, or you could. Uh, socially, you'll, you'll lead that without the second hand. A way in, I bring it down the track, I create connection and I get her to keep going down. Out, in, boom. However many turns, you should keep practicing that before you go to the second hand. Sure. So we're going to add back in that second hand and we're going to do it from the beginning with the shadow pause. And one, two, three, four. You've got it rotating on five. That right hand comes up as our core hand here. As she turns on six, both left hands, both the leader and the follower's left hand, is going to run into the wrist, and we're gonna slip past it, uh -huh, just letting the follower's wrist slip between our hands. We re-engage, so it's very quick. If you see us, we go from one side, the hand simply 
stays in that position, allows the wrist to do the movement through, and we continue into, oh, you're gonna want to do more. Oh, he's done with any more, my bad. All right, we'll do a couple. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So with what we're doing, we're traveling her on the uh, odds and we're slipping on the evens. Let's do it for me so I said I can see it coming down on the track. Eight, one, two, three, four, five slip, six, seven slip, eight. We could keep going as long as we wanted there. Yeah, yeah. so let's do it from this direction. One, two, three, four, five slip, six, seven slip, eight, or what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish them off with an egg eater. So let's get to that point when we're doing our original demonstration side. One, two, three, Four, turn five, slip six, so we've got the second hand. Here's where we're gonna go into the egg beater. Continue her turn seven. The gentleman's left hand comes, or sorry, right hand comes down, his left hand goes to his shoulder. We're in that egg beater position, which basically tells the lady we're done. Shane likes to go ahead and do a bit of a skin the cat side on my side, and more of the egg beater on his side. And then we slide out from one another and resume our basic or whatever you're going to be doing at that point. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing these advanced concepts, you've already done the drills where we dance on every side of the body and know that these basic movements work. So we'll try it again without, well, we'll side. do it one more time this side without stopping so much. A one, two, three, four, turn five, slip six, turn seven, a beater eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So now we'll do it from this side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. <laughs> Let's try it this side. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks for leaving that exit. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And there you have it, your advanced concept for today. Keep up the good work. If any questions, ping them our way, but review that video over and over. Keep working this section by section. Have a good time.